Let me show you how to add the position hold for your drone so you can do something like that. You can add a position hold and a few other cool features to almost any FPV drone in only 8 simple steps. Step 1. Get yourself a GPS module. Kind of obvious, right? But get yourself a GPS module with integrated magnetometer. You will need it. Yes, to hold the position the magnetometer is required. And good advice, invest in something good quality. Ublox M8 or M10 preferably. You will find some suggestions for good GPS modules in the description. Step 2. Find a good place to install the GPS module on your drone. To have a good reception and stable magnetometer readout, it should be at least 5 cm from the motors, wires, ESCs and other electronics and metals. And no, it doesn't have to be on the mast. Probably the best place to put it is in the back between rear motors, in the 3D printed holder of some kind. Works just like that. Step 3 is to connect the GPS to the flight controller. Because the GPS and the magnetometer are separate devices, you will need one serial port and one I2C bus. In total, 6 wires. Ground to ground, plus to plus, TX to RX, RX to TX, SCL to SCL, SDA to SDA, and you are done. Bear in mind, you can connect multiple I2C devices to a single I2C bus. So magnetometer and the barometer on the same SDA and SCL pads are absolutely not a problem. Step 4 flash enough. Unfortunately, Betaflight cannot do the position hold, so you will need a different flight controller software. Luckily, Inav is there. It's simple to set up, it's similar to Betaflight, fly amazingly and have full-blown GPS and navigation capabilities. In the description you will find the several tutorials how to set up your Inav drone and even how to migrate directly from Betaflight to Inav. And honestly, it's much simpler than you think. This video was created thanks to my Patreons and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as 2 bucks a month. Highly appreciated. Thanks in advance. Step 5. Configure the GPS and the magnetometer. This means you have to assign a serial port to the GPS function, enable GPS functionality, set the correct protocol, most probably it will be Ublox, and that's all. The GPS icon should turn blue, which indicates that the communication with the GPS module is working. In case of the magnetometer it's even simpler, because in the configuration tab you only have to set it to auto and reboot. Inav will auto detect the connected magnetometer module and you're golden. Step 6 is to set up the magnetometer orientation. Inav configurator has a very nice graphical tool that allows you to do just that. You just move a few sliders so that the graphic on the screen looks exactly like your setup in the real life and that's that. No finicky guesstimates, just use the tool. Step 7 is to calibrate the magnetometer. All you have to do is to start the process by either using the INAV configurator or with the stick commands and then rotate the drone 360 degrees in roll, pitch and yo. Just do some circles with your drone and wave it in the air. And you have 20 seconds to do that. Plenty of time. Only bear in mind that you should do it far away from any sources of the magnetic fields. So probably doing this in your house on your workbench is not the best idea and the best results can be achieved when doing this outside initiated from the stick commands just in the place when you will fly. And as long as you will not move the GPS and the magnetometer or replace the hardware you will not have to do it again. You might even copy the calibration values from the CLI and use it after every INAV upgrade. And when your drone will evolve any kind of the symptoms that can be associated with poor magnetometer calibration like 
toilet bowling, just repeat the procedure of calibration. And finally, step 8, set up the position hold fly mode in the iNav configurator. Just assign the mode to any channel just like with any other flight mode. Starting from now, anytime during the flight you can just flip the switch, enable the position hold and altitude hold if your drone has the barometer and usually they have and the drone should stay in exactly the place where you parked it. No tuning required. Works basically out of the box. There are however a few cavetas. Caveta number one is that you will not be able to arm without the GPS fix. Kinda obvious, right? And the caveta number two is that you will not be able to arm if you have the position hold flight mode enabled. You just cannot arm with the position hold. First you have to arm, then you have to take off and only then you can enable the position hold mode. Kinda makes sense if you think about this. As a bonus you can now have return to home and super precise landings with the motor disarm on the touchdown and your drone is also capable of running missions without your input. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!